Christopher Titus, and this is the actual Armageddon update. War! Except for pointing out that the Russian we have all been scared about for four decades is either a paper tiger or the Ukrainian people and their president are William Wallace, Tom Hanks, and Bruce Lee wrapped in a badass layer of Han Solo. After being invaded by the Russians, sorry, after the attempt by the Russian army and their great leader, the half-nude narcissist of Moscow, who is obviously so small, he invaded a country that didn't attack him, didn't do anything to him, and is now killing civilians on some made-up bullshit. Who would do that? Damn it! All right, back to the current war started for no reason in a country that didn't attack anyone. All right, yeah, I know, I get it. Putin sent 70% of his army into Ukraine and the Ukrainian people said, is this it? This is what you got? Uh, ah. Opa. Opa. <laughs> And the Ukrainians have effectively shut down the Russians, or at least slowed them down. And I need to thank the Ukrainians, because after the last five years of watching dictators and despots, fascists and strongmen, and an orange wannabe mobster douchebag try to dismantle freedom and decency, to see you stand up and to push back inspired the world. It started here for me on Snake Island in the Black Sea. This is how 13 soldiers responded to their certain death or capture. You ready? Your mother wears army boots. That's pretty badass. And this is how a woman on the street responded to a soldier occupying her home in Ukraine. She told him to put sunflower seeds in his pocket so his dead body will fertilize him. And it's rumored that at that exact second, Suge Knight woke up in his cell weeping, that Ukrainian bitch up for sunflower seeds. I'm safe here, right? <laughs> I have no words, but sunflower seeds needs to be an Eminem song. That woman changed the world and the entire planet sunflower seed industry. Now, the president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, has set the bar for badass leader. Imagine this, that this dime store KGB agent who hires photographers to take pictures of him shirtless doing man stuff because he's obviously worried about the size of his man stuff. Well, this man, Zelensky, has made Putin <laughs> one of the most feared dictators in the world now look like a schoolyard bully. And we all love what eventually happens to schoolyard bullies. <laughs> what do you do? Ah, it just takes the right person, tired of being scared, tired of being pushed to stand up and administer a beatdown. And Zelensky has showed us how to act with courage in the face of overwhelming odds, how to stand up for people that elected you, in contrast to Putin walking on his people. Putin, who hides in a bunker and distances himself from anyone, even at his own meetings. And yet this is Zelensky. Listen. I'm representing for the gangsters all across the world. Still hitting them corners and them lolos, girl. This dude's a gangster. You know why he's not afraid? You know why he has the balls to stand up to the world's worst dictator? Because he was a comedian. And once you've survived the second show on a Friday night in a room full of drunk Ukrainians, you can survive anything. I know a little bit about this. <sighs> this was this hey, weekend. Hey, hey. So thank you, President Zelensky and Ukraine for resetting what's acceptable, inspiring us all to stand up. You made a lot of us better people to the Ukrainians. Know that America's with you. And thank you for showing the people who back Putin in my country, these traitorous, treasonous, loser, hack dipshits who called P Putin a genius. You made them fools. And they are backpedaling harder than a circus clown in a tiger cage. And you may have even changed our elections by standing up where half of our leaders wouldn't. And to the Russian people. You see how weak Putin is, right? A 70-year-old, obviously dementia-riddled psychopath whose time is up. We've experienced the same kind of human dirt star in my country. So Russia, maybe it's time to go John Wick on your government. What's next? I need sunflower seeds for pockets. It's just a thought. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. We're with you, Ukraine. Oh, man. You know, we couldn't just stop. We couldn't just like, just get over the pandemic. Maybe war two years from now. No, it's gotta be right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is